Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are going to solve palindrome number problem this time in Swift and the task is straightforward. We need to determine if a given integer is a palindrome, which means it reads the same forward and backward. So let's uh, jump straight into the code and I will uh, explain right away. So we start with a given function is palindrome, which accept uh, an integer. So First, what we need to do is if x less than zero, return false because it's negative and reversed will be zero and number will be x. And while number not zero, reversed will be reversed on 10 plus number modulo 10 and number divided by 10 and return reverse equal x. So let's run our code to see if it's working. So hopefully it does. So yep, it's working. So as you can see, uh, number 121 is palindrome and uh, negative 121 is not palindrome and same 10 because it's read zero one from other side. So what we did. So uh, first we immediately return false for negative numbers as they can't be palindrome because of the negative sign. And for positive numbers, we will calculate a reverse number and then compare it with the original input of X. So the trick here is that we can do this without converting our integer into a string. And we will start by initializing a variable reverse to zero, which will eventually hold our reverse number. And then we will set up a while loop where we will repeatedly take the last digit of X and append it to reversed. So we get the last digit by uh, computing X modulo uh, 10. And we remove the last digit by dividing X by 10. So that's why number divided by 10. And finally, we return whether reverse number is equal to the original number uh, or not. So if it's uh, same as original, we return true for palindrome and false uh, otherwise. So uh, yeah, that's all for this task. And let's see if it's working for unsynthesized cases. They are sometimes bigger, but yeah. It's working, our solution beats 99% of runtime and also 72 with respect to memory. So a perfect solution and there you have it. So if you like it, please uh, make thumbs up and subscribe for more coding challenges, tutorials in Swift. And as usual, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding. See you next time.